The second file type that we're going to be looking at now is how to get data from Excel. So appreciate you may, uh, in your day-to-day -day role, treat CSV files and Excel files, so specifically Excel SX files, very much the same. But of course, Power BI not only obviously recognizes them as different file types, as do many other applications, but also there are slightly different steps when it comes to getting data from um, obviously the various file types. What I'm first going to do, just to make sure we don't get confused, is if I go over to my tasks table here, you can see I've now got this ellipsis, the three dots on the far right hand side, which is right at the very far side of my screen, but hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to left click those, and we're going to navigate, navigate down to rename, and we'll literally just call this tasks space CSV, just so we know what versions we're referring to here. So we'll just hit enter there, and you can see it's now renamed that table for us. What we'll do is go home and we'll go again, get data, but this time we're going to go from an Excel workbook. So by default, it's gone okay into File Explorer and opened up our CSV file. However, this time, obviously, it's not going to recognize that file type. We'll go back to Power BI, go into XLSX, and this time we'll select the Power BI data from this folder and click on to open. So I referred to in the last video that CSV is going to be a very common type for you to use, which I'm sure it will be. But also, again, if you're getting started, I'm sure you're probably in the process of trying to move a current Excel report into Power BI, of which your data or your source data, should I say, is probably still going to be in an Excel file somewhere. So you can see, having now connected to this file, we've got a slightly different display. So with the CSV file, straight away we've got that preview, and then we loaded it into Power BI. However, this time it's obviously recognized there's more than one, or there is three uh, tabs or sheets in this file. So at the folder level, we can see we've got Power BI data, which is the file name. However, we can now navigate through the various tabs. So comments appears to be empty. Customers, okay, there's some, some data in there, but predominantly if we go into tasks, which should exactly resemble what we saw in the CSV file, we can now get a preview of all of that data, which again, with the preview, we can scroll horizontally and vertically uh, to ensure we're happy with the contents of that tab. In order to now import this, as you can see at the moment, the two buttons are uh, grayed out. All we need to do is select our desired data. If we wanted to pull data from multiple sheets, again, obviously you could make multiple selections. However, I'm just gonna tick just the tasks options and then click on to load. And as Power BI goes through very much a similar process as it did with our CSV file, it's now gonna get that data and load it into Power BI. So we can now see, in addition to our task CSV file, we've now got another table called tasks. If we expand that, it's gonna be exactly identical, uh, but this one is coming from our XLSX file. So similarly to what we did earlier, let me just go into rename, and let's now call this one the XLSX version just so we know what we're working with uh, when we go on to the next video. So hopefully after this video, you are now happy or familiar, should I say, with getting data from an Excel file. Like I said, I've said it probably many times, but obviously a true Excel file with Excel SX rather than a CSV. So again, suggestion now would be to have a go at connecting to an Excel file and putting data from even one or multiple tabs within that file. Uh, of course, if you pull data from multiple um, multiple sheets rather than one as I did, you can obviously have multiple tables added to your data pane down the right hand side here. So at this stage, I suggest again, just trying that for yourself. So following the steps in this video, connecting to an Excel file and pulling data in from one of the sheets available to you in that file. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.